Hi, I'm Rhonda, and this is my boy Reese, and welcome back to A Shed Instead. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground. Y'all probably remember last week I was telling you there was big doings next door. They moved in equipment over there, there was guys working, and I've been glad as Kravitzing again. They are building a house. It looks like a traditional stick-built home. They put in a foundation yesterday. They poured it. Don't look, don't look. So they're going to build a home. Looks like it's going to be a nice home over there. And good for them. But it makes me even more confident in my decision to do this. To do a shed instead. That mortgage-free thing is so important to me. And I'm already there. Next up is debt-free. But the mortgage free was huge. The people that had originally owned that lot were um, clearing and were going to set their home way in the back of their lot. That's two acres next door. I have one acre. They were going to set their home way in the back and I thought that's great. You know, I'll set mine mid lot and then we'll be staggered and nobody will look, be looking at each other. They're going to put theirs pretty much even with mine. It's not the same people they bought it a few months ago. Don't look. Pretty much even with the front of my house. So, now I'm looking at doing some barrier stuff. Like right here. Along the driveway. Has anyone used fastgrowingtrees.com? I've been looking at them. They have these giant Fuja trees that you can get fairly reasonable. It's like 30 bucks for a one to two gallon start. And they grow like three to five feet a year. And they would be a great visual barrier for the side of the driveway. Running down there. I've got enough room between the driveway and the fence. I think I do. But if anybody has used fastgrowingtrees.com, I would love to hear from you and see what you thought, what you bought, how it was delivered, how you got it. If you liked them, let me know. I don't want to put up another fence or be like that about it. But, um, yeah. Right there. So from my porch, I can look over and see their house. Mm-hmm. Not sure if they thought it through. They obviously didn't think it through like the other people did that were going to build there. It's a shame that they didn't keep it and build. Of course, those are the people that took all of the trees off of there. Still don't know why they did that. And by the way, I don't know if I ever told y'all, when I bought this lot, those people that did have this lot next door cleared it, of course. Whatever. Um, but they didn't get a survey first. So they thought they knew where the boundary line was, but they didn't. They cleared off trees all down the right side of my lot. From the street all the way back. And that's the whole entire reason my driveway is on this side of the lot. Because they had already taken the trees. And if I had put my driveway somewhere else, I would have had to take trees out somewhere else. So this is what I got. And that has culminated into me not having as much room on the parking side of my house as I wanted to. Still got to deal with that. And I will. I'll figure it out. You may be thinking, well, why didn't you set your house catty corner so you'd have more room? And, you know, that was suggested to me at the beginning, and it's a good suggestion. But I'm a little OCD. I like to face north. I like things to be, you know, straight, symmetrical, whatever. I like coming out my front porch and north being straight in front of me. East, south, west. I like that. My little OCD likes that. Plus, my neighbor across the street is sat catty-cornered. If I had done that, we'd have been facing each other. If I had set my house sideways, long ways, 
I'd have plenty of room for parking, but then I'd be looking at one neighbor or the other, and someone's going to build on the lot on the other side eventually. A lot that still has all the trees. And I wouldn't want to do that. I just hope their front door is going to face the front and not face this way. Why would they do that? Surely they won't do that. But I wanted mine set straight on the lot for those reasons. I didn't want to be facing off with a neighbor or square looking at a neighbor. Um, and also something to consider if you're doing something like this and figuring out where to place your house is the sun as I sit here on a hot, sticky Texas summer morning waiting for the heat to hit 100 degrees real temperature today and feels like of 115. I'm not complaining, I'm complaining. Let's face it, I'm complaining, I complain every summer. But in placing your house, you have to think about where the sun side of your house is. I made sure the only window I have on the sun side of my house is the small window up in the loft. That's it. And even with that, my kitchen is still getting hot evening sun. Once I put a porch on the front, that will help. That will help a lot. Um, but I wanted my bedroom on the morning side. I wanted the kitchen on the sun side because I don't live in there. I just cook in there. And um, so things to think about if you're going to do something like this. Where to place your house what is the most advantageous placement energy wise living wise view wise get it exactly how you want it but do it smart it's so precious I hope you can hear me over the fan I need the fan it's hot out here another thing I wanted to talk to you all about was the balancing act that you do if you're going to live in your shed the house while you're building it um, I have had questions. What, what do you do? You know, with stuff going on inside, and it's it's a lot of moving stuff around. Uh, it's a lot of playing those puzzle games. That doesn't bother me. I uh, before I moved here in my old house, while I was waiting for my building to get done, I threw away so much old stuff, old junk. I had lived in that house for like 11 years. I got rid of so much stuff. It's crazy how we accumulate stuff, isn't it? Uh, so I downsized as much as I possibly could. So what I have in here is really just what I need. Not a lot of extra. Well, there is some extra, but it's up in the storage loft over the kitchen. Um, but it's pretty much just stuff that I, that I need that I'm going to keep. So anyways, there's a lot of moving around while you're living in it. And one thing I'm facing right now that I didn't think about, because you know, you make plans and you make plans and you, and you do stuff, and then sometimes you have to change plans. Um, I'm functional. I'm fully functional in this house. The bathroom, the kitchen, everything is fully functional. So finishing it out is a matter of just figuring out the finishes that I want, the coverings, the floor coverings, and the wall coverings, and the paint and all of that, the trim, and finishing it out. And I'm excited to do that. Boy, am I excited to do that. But then summer hits, and I realize, boy, it would be really great to have a porch on the front and knock out some of that sun, like I said, from hitting the kitchen and living room. There's also the issue with these temporary steps, which are just concrete blocks sitting here. I'm killing my knee. I'd like to have some real steps. So now that I'm functional on the inside of the house, do we start working on porches? It's awful hot to have Tyler out here working on that kind of thing. I don't really want to do that. But man, I need some steps. And I need a porch. And I want a porch on my bedroom side because I have a pet door that's going to go over there and that would make it easy for him to go in and out and do his potty without me having to get up and open the door all the time. And also he's so young, I'd like to train him to use it as soon as possible. And then a, a porch on the back where those back French doors are so I can start seeing how a deck is gonna go there. Um, and if I have room to put a carport up against it, butt it up against it. Um, so now I'm starting to think porches and steps 
or those priority over finishing the inside of the house, being that I'm fully functional on the inside. Decisions, decisions. What do y'all think? There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground.